Two top website builders, Hostinger versus Wix. One of them offers simplicity, while the other throws everything but the kitchen sink. But which approach is better for you? Will Hostinger lack options or will Wix be overwhelming and confusing? Well, you have to watch my Hostinger vs Wix comparison to find out. As always, don't forget to like this video if it helps you pick a provider, but for now, let's start with templates. Looking only at numbers, Hostinger offers quite the selection, 100 plus designs. However, Wix blows nearly every other builder out of the water by offering 900 plus templates. Sure, not every design from Wix selection is a winner, uh, some tend to be very similar and some feel outdated. In general, everyone should be able to find a theme for their particular niche here, but I actually prefer Hostinger's approach. Its templates are more colorful and lively, though there's not a lot of experimentation with structure. Wix is reversed feels more repetitive but can offer a more unique structure. What's more interesting to me is that both providers implement AI. I can ask AI to come up with a design for me and get a few generated options. Honestly, I think Hostinger does AI just a bit better, not only because it has more varied designs but it also has more native AI tools, more on them later. Both builders offer an AI assistant that helps you throughout the setup process. And here Wix Assistant is more refined and adapts a bit better. Nevertheless, I want to stress that both providers keep updating their AI technologies, and it's only a matter of time before AI becomes a crucial part of every website builder. Overall, it's a tie. Hostinger has more refined selection, while Wix offers lots of design choices for any niche. Once we pick up a template, the real work can begin. And here again, both providers offer quite a different experience. Hostinger's editor is minimalistic, showing only the most important tools and having truly fluid drag and drop controls, being basically a perfect editor for beginners. Wix has everything, giving you all the tools, allowing you to add tons of rulers or guides and just displaying you way more information. I like information, but I can't lie, the Wix editor can look chaotic sometimes. Although both platforms allow working with individual elements and pre-made sections, Hostinger's selection is quite limited. There are only 9 elements that I would call website core, but it lacks more interesting things like animated progress bars or pricing tables. Wix offers every element, even simple shapes and animations you can add anywhere. There are also a lot of pre-made sections. Basically, you can create a beauty or beast looking website here. That's my main point, all that freedom can just lead to an unfinished project, and if you're not interested in learning about web design, Hostinger's limitation is actually a plus. I'd also recommend Hostinger if you're looking for a true no-code website builder. You can embed videos, but that's sort of it. As you would expect, Wix allows you to add code and customize quite a large part of your website's technical aspects. Hmm, you know what, I'm gonna go with a tie again. Both Hostinger and Wix editors are great but have downsides for specific users. Hostinger is quite limited, while Wix can be overwhelming. Moving on to extra tools and features. It's not enough just to build a website. You have to manage your audience, promote it, and hopefully earn something back. Hostinger offers core tools but is honestly quite limited in both e-commerce and marketing. You'll need to use third-party providers for more complicated business tasks. Wix offers a lot, and surprisingly, most tools are easy to use, well-documented, and offer enough templates so that even a complete beginner could utilize them. A similar situation is with search engine optimization. Hostinger offers only the basics and, weirdly, doesn't explain what you're doing that well. I think Wix has a better approach. Outside of offering lots of extra apps, it actually explains quite a lot about what and why. It even runs you through a very helpful SEO wizard that helps you set everything up. I have no doubt that Hostinger will improve over the years, but currently Wix is the master here. Surprisingly, in terms of AI tools, both providers offer similar native selection, including text and image generators. While sure, Wix has more AI options from its third-party app store, Hostinger thinks about small but useful details as well like logo makers, so you don't need to hire a designer. 
or an auto layout fix feature to, well, fix mobile designs for you. Both builders' tools are quite impressive, though as with all AI, they sometimes tend to just, well, not work. That said, Wix and Hostinger are both frequently updated. In Hostinger's case, you can see a roadmap of upcoming improvements or even request any new feature. A roadmap for a provider is unique, not only in website building, but also in the hosting world. So kudos to Hostinger. Wix also doesn't let up. It keeps upgrading the editor in small ways, as well as introducing completely new features, like Wix Studio. This is sort of a new version of Wix that's concentrated on studios or freelancers, allowing for easier crafting and managing of multiple projects. So is hosting your website builder good in terms of e-commerce? For small stores, yes, but not so much for anything bigger. There are limitations on products and variations, and I did miss a few tools here and there, both in visual presentation and technical aspects. Hostinger can be a bit slow sometimes, and it can get even worse working with lots of products. My main issue is the lack of third-party app support. Wix not only has a lot of native business tools, but also offers a large app market. Sure, most of them have their own monthly cost, but it's preferable to have these tools available, especially when your business expands. Yet again, I have to make it a tie here. I would absolutely recommend Hostinger to anyone who wants to create and run a small online store or a basic business website. But for any bigger or more complex projects, Wix will have all that's needed to grow. As we move to pricing, the thing you need to know is that Wix has a completely free plan. Not only can you test the builder out, but you can actually publish a website on a free subdomain and get visitors. This alone adds a huge plus to Wix if you need a site for a school project or some event. However, the plan is very limited and you have to live with Wix branding, which isn't always ideal. If you have a tight budget though, the best choice is Hostinger. Not only because it starts from as low as $3 a month, but unlike Wix, you can create 100 different websites on one subscription. Wix and in fact, most website builders work on the logic one subscription, one website. Even with resources, Hostinger is way more generous, offering up to 200 gigabytes of SSD storage space, free domain names, automatic weekly backups, and even domain name protection. The latter feature saves you from spam and other nonsense by hiding your personal information in domain registrars. Don't get me wrong though, Wix plans are balanced for a single website, so 50 gigabytes of storage is more than enough. It's just going to cost you way more. However, there's no bandwidth limit and Wix comes with no price increase on renewals. The price you pay now will stay the same. I also left my personal Wix and Hostinger discount links in the description, and with them, you can save even more. So to be frank with you, I sort of knew from the start that Hostinger would win here. It's hard to beat it when it comes to price and value. If you are on a budget and want to craft a modern website, you gotta go with Hostinger. Wix isn't that bad, but will require more investment or going with the limited free plan. Before we go through the final category, why not like this video and subscribe to the CyberNews YouTube channel? We make lots of informative videos like these, so it would be fun to meet you there. So, Hostinger, a lightweight website builder versus Wix's extensive platform, which will load faster. But first, let's set the stage. Google recommends loading a website in 2.5 seconds for the best SEO results. The most important metrics are the largest contentful paint, which shows the loading time of the largest part of your content, and the speed index, which indicates how fast the site loads visually. Hostinger's LCP was under 1.5 seconds, and speed index was around 1 second. Wix's LCP was under 2.2 seconds, and speed index 1.8 which, to be fair, I expected a bigger difference between these two, so kudos to Wix. Well, even with the slightly longer loading times, I think both builders deliver on the fast loading times promise and fit in Google's recommendations. Of course, if you want top speeds for small projects, Hostinger. For big projects, Wix will offer more optimization. So, which of these is the best website builder? I would say that both are best, but for completely different users. Hostinger Website Builder is fast, minimal, and stylish. 
Though it can feel limiting in places, it's best for beginners and simple websites. Wix is extensive, offers everything you can think about, and gives you nearly full control. But it's confusing at places and takes more time to get the full hang of it. Ask yourself what you need the most and grab your next favorite website builder. Look at you, watching this Wix vs Hostinger review 2024 until the end and I'm truly thankful for that. You can find discounts and other links below and I'm always grateful for any likes and comments you leave. If you have experience with these website builders, share it with others. And for everyone else, I'll see you all next time.